Alright, hello everybody, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well and today we are back with another series of Red Dead Redemption 2 And... We ju uh, last mission, uh, we just met uh, Sadie And Abigail left us What kind of woman? Yeah, just like I said Abigail left us. You gonna explain your damn self, huh? Come on, Abigail. You should at least give Je John a chance. He's just trying to make a living. He did try to change. But right, let's just head to the next mission. Going to to a bank for a bank loan, I think. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> Cairo Amirin, thank you for the light, bro. Loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. All right, let's go to the next. Next point or destination, I would say. Where is it? Is it that far? Hopefully, it's not. Ah, it's not that far. Good. And so, is it the same person? Yeah, same person. What does he say? Uh, there are squatters or it beaters hope that may need to be moved on. Guess we're going to that spot and uh, maybe scout. Still haven't seen uh, who's that bastard name? Micah, uh, Dutch. I think Dutch. I don't think we're gonna meet Dutch. Uh, Charles. We haven't seen him. We did met. Who's this guy? Is not old crazy man Cassidy. Asking for money. Help a blind man. Sure, mate. Sure, mate. Here. Not a problem. Get some burger or something. <laughs> the burger in the 80s. Past at the expense of the future. Thank you. Guess. What do we have Come here? Dead horse. Uh, like I said, we haven't met uh, Charles, but we did met. Uh, what was her name? Sadie, yeah, uh, Sadie Adler. And she said that uh, she maybe found. Are you kidding? Me? Yeah, she found Micah for some reason. Not sure how I felt there. 
the hell? Horse scared. Give me a snake. Oh shit. Let's go the other way. Yeah, almost there. Teacher's hope. Can I help you, friend? Howdy. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. I did thank you for the like. Confront the squatters. Uh, give money, intimidate. Uh, let's intimidate them. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to Why me. Why would now. I give them money? Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision, then, partner. Oh yeah, that's right. You are dead. All three of you. Is the stream lagging? Guys, uh, let me know if the stream is lagging. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. Huh, just like that, huh? Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. That's good. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American. <laughs> That's a start. And owned by the bank. <laughs> you finally they have a home. Me. They just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Funny guy. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, oh, shit, I thought Uncle. you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle. Still alive. The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> That's cool. We have a partner now. It's uncle! Long time no see. I tend to be just hope with uncle. You coming, uncle? Yeah. 
the hell, man? Come on, let's go. Why is he so slow? Where are we headed? West. West. Nah, oh, ain't even a man a few words. I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch I... A ranch I bought just now. Whoop, whoop, wrong way. What? The <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad. So what was I talking about? Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh my lord! <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Right here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. So we stuck with Uncle. How do you make money if you're in the middle of nowhere? Chapter 3? Part 3, uh, sorry, part 2. Part 2, be just hope. Home of the gentry. Oh yeah, how did I get bronze? Completely within, within two minutes. I think uh, I didn't make it because of maybe I ran. I hit uh, uncle on the way here. Okay, let's go to uncle. <laughs> Still sleeping, of course. Typical uncle. Working hard. <laughs> Working it's hard. The lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! <Ow! laughs> I'm getting up. Oh no! Wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles, Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Oh shit, Charles, Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. It's nice. 
We get to meet Charles now! Get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? I spot Charles at the saloon or the fence. On horse, I need you. Looks like you're stuck. Let's check out the saloon first and then we go to the fence. If the saloon is near, nearby. Man, we haven't been here in quite some time since uh Yeah, Arthur got sick. We went here to the doctor. When he first got sick. Yeah. Huh? What's he called? Tuberculosis. Can you go through his door? Yeah. Our tender Charles. Hey partner? Seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Find Charles at San Saturnine, 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 I don't know. I'm not sure how do you pronounce it. What is that man? What is the matter with you? Oh, What took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not Folks, one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. They hate a massacre, and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. Is it Charles? He don't know the half of it. John? Hey, it is him. I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's <laughs> uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Excuse me, I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. You know, Charles bet against. Charles, of course we're gonna bet on Charles. Ladies sure, and I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient Let's warriors the... and a not so noble fight. savage. <laughs> on my left, a ferocious uh, battle fight. from the okay. valleys, Simon of Wales. And on on Charles, right, can do this. An engineer. Savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. 
You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Focus on Charles by holding Cheer of Boom. Come on, Charles. Man, Charles on play ain't playing. Damn, just like that. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we. So you keen on staying around here, or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Forty dollars. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur? Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me a satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me, and Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. What I do? <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> yeah. Guns busy, Dad. Oh, he, take, he took four bullets. Dead or alive? Does it matter though? You have put on the mask. I'll get my bag. Okay. 
cause this matter. It's COVID-19. Matters. Alright, let's go. Drive, drive, drive! Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Ah. Hold on. You see any law? Right here. Keep your eye out. Santa Ni ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I didn't have to clear. shoot anyone. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. We Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> yeah! You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Guess we're going to reach hope. We're gonna bring along uh, Charles and Uncle. Let's go to them. Continue to the next uh, mission. Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. <laughs> oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Yeah, this is now. He got, he's I got a point. These horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this job? Uh, just like we are destroying the house. On me. Pull reins. And uncles is lazy. It's coming. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Takes hardwood and timber. Okay, <laughs> you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. 
<laughs> Whip him. <laughs> Alright, why now? But before we do anything, I think we should uh, take some rest first. Can we hitch the horse? Yep, yes we can. Till I can trust you. Alright, before we do anything, take a rest first and then we go straight to the next mission. Uh, rest by fire. What's this? Found horse. Oh, okay, okay. This place, uh, horse station where you can hitch the horse. So I think you should take a rest first. Sit. Leave. Uh, no, no. Where's the uh, rest option? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Uh, craft, cook. Well, rest it can. We can access firecrafting. Maybe we should. There's no uh, rest option, so. Or should I say sleep? Is there something we can cook? No? Nothing? Anything? Are you kidding me? We cannot cook! We don't have the enough ingredient. Fine, I'll just leave. You're a good Let's go. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about this game so far? After uh, Arthur died, and now we get to play John. What do you guys think? Agitated by Predator. Now, you piece of shit. I want his skill. Get him. The hell? Your peckish hog feed, you asshole. You sure you know what you're doing, but so dead. Last one. No, oh, I almost died. Not sure why they did that. Out of the blue, they come to attack. Okay. Is it uh, cities in this, in this town? Hopefully... Oh yeah, she's in this town. Almost there, guys. What the hell are you doing, sir? Black water. Maybe I should feed the horse first. Draining stamina a lot. This paper vendor. Thank you. Push the horse. How do you do? Feed it. Brush and tap. Pet. Sorry. Brush. Fine, Philly. Right. Well done. Well That's done. Smart pet. All right. Hello. She's good. <sighs> good city. Well, come on in. New face is always welcome here. Okay. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. 
Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. All right. Let's go, Sadie. Let's find out. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Where Sadie's going? Follow Sadie. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches. Some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. We have a lot good. raring with this horse. Maybe these fellers I heard about him stayed north or gone off somewhere else. Okay. Or left dropped control down control dead in their own tracks. Left ship. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Shot. Uncle. Besides uncle. Oh yeah. Uh, That's uh, it. Abigail ain't come there just yet. Okay, let's move. By all means, continue. Really? You er want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I I ain't so good with people. Ah, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Macca, John. Macca's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, 
I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. look down in the valley. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, Get me this year. Back on your horse. Let's get after them. Yeah, good girl. Looks like man. they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Yeah. They'll be coming through here. So sorry guys, uh, this part, I have uh, an audio issue, I'm not sure why, but uh, you're gonna see this part without an audio, I hope you guys understand and I'm very sorry.
all right i'm gonna stop here and uh, we'll continue john's story in the next video and thank you so much for watching see you guys next time take care guys